Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Well, this is a nice little place. Um, but where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? The first place I go is... Go to the mayor. Go to the mayor and find him dead. That's, that's where I go. Okay, so I found the mayor dead. The wife comes in. She is very, very upset by this. Understandably so. She can't believe it. She's reporting it to the police. She's blaming us for it. She thinks we killed the mayor. And yeah, basically Mario is to blame. Mario is the one that did this. And there's nobody else that it could have possibly been. Except we know it's not Mario, so we're gonna prove that he's innocent. Oh, that's so cute. He thinks he can stop me from going down the pipe. Sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from this spot. Oh, no, sir. Oops, this is hilarious. He thinks he can stop us from leaving. Listen, you little punk, I can knock your ass right out of there. All I need is the Spin Smash badge, and I'll... Wait a second. I didn't get the Spin Smash badge. Well, anyway, I guess I have to prove Mario's innocence. By smashing this ice here. Ruining this whole ice pond for everybody. We got the key, which lets us go in, into this door that's right here. I don't know how that key got down there, but it got down there somehow. And spring up. Cross over. And we know it was you who destroyed the mayor. You can't hide the truth. And you can't hide from the law. You will be prosecuted under the full extent of the law. You will not be able to resist the law's power and everything it can bring down upon you. It will strike you down for you have killed the mayor. And he talks about how that guy killed the mayor. And he says it's all a misunderstanding. And now that guy says that, and that guy says that, and they talk for a while. And finally, the mayor comes to and explains everything. He just got knocked out, getting that gift. He just slipped and fell. This was all a big misunderstanding. The wife was a total bitch the entire time. And, uh, and yeah, not gathering all the facts. Just, you know, giving her opinion on something that she didn't know for sure. I mean, sure. Someone claimed that this guy wasn't breathing and that this guy was dead. But I am certain that if she had checked herself, she would have seen that he was alive. Probably. Or she would have still panicked any time. Or, you know, anyway. Uh, I knew you were innocent the whole time. Back room murder place, please. How... So you really did. You, you knew I was innocent. Because it didn't sound like that. Oh, they sell life shrooms here for 40 coins. Um, am I going to get... I don't really need one right now. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright, well, here are all my active badges. For this fight coming up with, uh, with Junior Troopa. I don't even know how he got here, but he got here. And 
Now he's got a wand. And I think he does a lot of damage, too. So let's finish him quickly. And then this. Now he's going to do his wand attack. Really bad at, at guarding those. So you know what? Um, I'm going to chill him out. And power bounce. And he's basically just one good power bounce away from being done. really tough. Nothing behind here. Repel gel. That is awesome. So, now that we've got them out of the way, let's move on to the next fight. Oh no. Oh no, it's the monster! Um. Uh. I have to finish him in one attack. Shit, he's not dead. He's not dead. Alright, Electro Dash. He's still not dead. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. He's about to kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna... <laughs> well. Yeah. I can't say that... I can't say that this was a hard battle. I do feel kind of bad, though. Kind of weak. Let's try clocking him out. I've always wondered if you can clock this guy out or put him to sleep, so... Let's try clocking him out first. Nope. How about par paralyzing him? Wait, isn't that the same? Th isn't that paralyzing them? Right? That was. I don't know. I'm gonna mega shot, too. Okay, that didn't work. And now. He goes again. Um, yeah. Let's try, let's try putting him to sleep. Nope. Alright, let's try Power Shock. And then after that, I'll kill him. Wow, you really can't do much of anything there. You know, I've never let this battle go on this long before. I'm kind of worried, like, that the game is programmed, like, on the fifth time he does it, he does, like, 50, 50, uh, 50, um, 50 points of damage and kills you, like, instantly because of that. Anyway, let's, let's charge Mario up. And power bounce. For being such a weak enemy, he sure does give a lot of star points. Uh, yep, FP it is.
All right. Oh, you know what? There was... You know what? There was a hidden block here with actually a stopwatch. Uh, let's get rid of the mistake. It was a mistake anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty funny. Um, can we hurry up? I, I just... I want to get to the main part of this chapter, which is... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I think I soft-locked the game. By jumping in front of him. Yeah, I can't move. I, I soft-locked the game, people. I crashed Paper Mario. I crashed it. That's impossible. And I did it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to do the... I have to do all those fights again. Oh, boy. Alright, fine. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I guess we'll go through this again. I'll just cut to when I get up to where I was. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. This time I won't rush in front of you. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll save right here. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and good, I survive. Alright, so now I have the scarf and I need to get the bucket from the mayor in Shiver City. So I have to go all the way back there to then go back up to the snowmen to then... To then save the day. Alright, so you need a scarf, so let me put one on you. And now let's go get the... The hat. For the bucket. Hey, Junior Troopa, do you need a jacket? Alright, give me the bucket. Come on, Mayor. Good, you gave it to me. Because if I didn't, I really would have killed you. I think I'm going to sell a couple of items here. Uh, like the Kupasta. And the spaghetti. You know what, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to sell the jam and jelly, but I am going to store... I'm going to store one of them. You know what, same thing with the repel gel. I'm going to store that, too. But the rest, I think, will be good. Alright, so... Now that we're in here... I'm going to have to avoid a lot of enemies. Whoa. Is there anything here? No. Okay. A few piranhas. Got past them. And an ultra shroom. Alright, not really what I need, but I'll take it. You know what? There's a... Yep. There is a pebble here. And this is where all of the tricks start. There's two Coopers. There's this one here. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What? what? That's impossible. I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy talk. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper. Really? Come on, Mario. You know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying. Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut up. <laughs> Shut your mouth, goody goody. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> These ghosts are stupid. Okay.
What a bunch of stupid ghosts. Oh, I'm kind of stupid because I forgot to equip, uh... Equip that, what, what's it called? What does this do? Yeah, it's just a... Forgot to equip Quake Hammer for this battle. Or Power Quake. Alright. Let's finish this one off. Ooh, extra defense. What if he just turns into one of my partners? Oh, well, actually, I guess it came in handy. Okay, so I guess I really should... Should equip uh, Quake Hammer, so, or Power Quake. I'm gonna get rid of Happy Heart. Uh, the rest of the badges I can keep on. You know what, let's put on both Power Quake and, or actually, Power Quake and... Um... You know, I'll just throw on Refund. All right, here we go. I think this is the final super block, or upgrade block. And it's only one partner to upgrade. So to be honest, I think this is like the first time in forever I've actually upgraded all of my partners. Like, I don't think I did it for even turn, and I'm pretty sure I didn't do it for any of the other. I feel like I haven't done it in such a long time, to be honest, if ever. Okay, so I want the shooting star. I'll put the rock in here. And I'll also take the thunder rage. But I will le No, no, I want the thunder rage. But I will leave the ultra shroom. And I'll grab that on the way back. Okay, now for this scene, we have... An old, old, old spirit that will tell us something about something about... I, I don't know what it has to do with this game, but there's something there about it. Probably about the Crystal King, maybe, and the Ice Palace, and all the tricks it plays. And, uh, yeah, now we get the star. We get the blue star, which we use here to make it so that we can never go back to that room again. And I guess I may as well get Mega Jump. I don't know if I'm really going to ever use it, but it's there. Alright, so now we enter the Ice Palace, which actually if I go in here... Just saved outside, but I'll save in here, too. Now I just have to avoid these guys. And that's the blue key, which... Which lets me get through the blue door. However, to get to the blue door, you have to hit the red switch to get rid of the red door. Well, I have a feeling we're going to have to find out something here. Uh, oh, no, it's not here. It's, it's elsewhere. Three coins are always nice. fight these guys for some reason. So, Power Quake. And Power 
Power Bomb. Two power combos. Have not defeated them. Uh, okay, so then let's do another Power Quake to finish them off. Maybe I should have gotten Mega Quake. Huh. Thought Power Quake and Power Bomb would have been enough. Alright, got the Shooting Star. And then here we got P down, D up. So I can boost my defense up even more. Now with the red key, we can open up the red door. All right, with the red door back up, let's head on in. And let's get through this dungeon. All right, so what do I want to do with these guys? I guess just using the two power moves are still the best way to go about this. I forgot how much damage these guys do. Um, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to use Bomb here. And I'm going to jump because I don't think the spiky top thing really... You know, spiky... Uh, what do you call that? The spike ball stick thing. Whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Uh, but now I get coins. And now we go to the next battle. We'll do power bomb here. And power quake. Oh, they actually finished them all. I guess it's just the, um, the Dupla Ghosts that they, uh, they have 15. These guys, I guess, have, like, 12 or something. Alright. Power Bomb. And then Power Quake once again to finish them all off. Mistake in there. Yep. And this should be the triple dip badge. Yes. Three items in one turn is not something I desperately need, but it is kind of nice to have. There's really no reason not to get it. It's like right there. Yeah, these guys didn't look at Cooper all that well. if you do hit Cooper. <laughs> I mean, I know you go into a fight, but like, does he just call you a retard? Because it would be well-deserved if you hit Cooper here. I mean, unless you're trying to hit Cooper to be a dick. So I guess he'd call you a retard or a dick. I mean, either would be fair. Alright. Maple syrup. Uh, maple syrup I like more than, uh, although I have, I already have a couple maple syrup. Well, you know, I have a couple of, uh, FP healing items. But I really don't need the super shroom. Oh, and I can't push this one anyway. I gotta go to the other side first. And this small statue... I can push pretty easily. And this gets me the P up D down badge. So now I can have even more attack power if I want. And between Power Rush, the two Power Pluses, all or nothing. And that, that's plus five damage. That can normal jump up to 16. 
No, wait, hold on. Five, wait, two, three, four, five, no, no, six. Through our normal jump up to 18. Which, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, that basically destroys pretty much any normal enemy. I mean, I already pretty much destroy any normal enemy, but that would just be total overkill. Oh, the final Bowser? I would, well, actually, no, he has some defense. Um, I don't know if it's one or two. But, uh, but hey, you know, maybe it goes down to 14, and then it would just take maybe 10 turns to beat Bowser. It would take more because of, uh, because of his Star Rod power, where he boosts his defense up, and he's invincible. Anyway, we're almost at the Crystal King. The final, the final boss of this chapter, and, well, the final boss before the final chapter. It's actually pretty sad. We're, uh, we're almost there. This has been a pretty fun run. Well, I've completed that really complicated puzzle. And so better heal up. Save. And what am I going to use for this one? Now, I could do this the cheap way and just have Gumbario charge or Mario charge or both of them charge and then just destroy the Crystal King right at the end. But let's try and do this. Let's try and do this a more legit way. Let's let's pull out. You know what? Let's pull out Bo. So I haven't really used her in a while. Let's take off Power Quake. Uh. Keep on refund. Actually, no, let's take off refund. Let's put on feeling fine. Because I think he can freeze you. And as far as I'm aware, even though it doesn't say it, Feeling Fine does protect you from all status uh, ailments, so... Or ailments. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Alright, so Mario versus the Crystal King. So he starts out with three of his uh, his things there. Let's go in and fan smack him. Oh, for some reason I thought that pierced defense. Um, okay, that doesn't pierce defense, so... Then, uh, so let's switch her out for what? Let's use what to attack him. Attack him some more. Let's 
Nope. Nice try, Crystal King. Uh, he should be almost dead. I think he has 60 or 70. Or he's gonna heal and make it so he can keep fighting. Actually, that really sets me back. And then he's gonna heal again. Alright, you know what? Since he's healing, I'm gonna heal. I think it's only fair to do it that way. And let's use Watt to suit Mario up. There we go. That is exactly what I was waiting for. So just Star Storm to get rid of his clones, and then I'll use Watt to... Actually, I should probably change to a different partner. Doesn't really matter. I have a 15 damage there. So yeah, that's it. All right, good. Wow. I really didn't want that, actually. Um, but I guess it's fine. I mean, there's only a few fights that I really have to do in chapter, uh, in chapter six. I mean, chapter, what am I saying? Chapter eight. I may skip the anti-guy fight, because I don't, uh, I don't know. I have to do Junior Troopa. I have to do Bowser, I have to do... Well, I have to do Bowser. And then there's a second Bowser, but that doesn't really matter. Um, the anti-guy, if I... The anti-guys, if I want to do them. And then there are a couple of Koopa Patrol fights I gotta do. Now I'm at level 15, and I'm over halfway past, you know, through level 15, so... Oh yeah, this is going to be close. And aren't there cannons there too in Bowser's Castle? I mean, you could just run past them, I think, if there are. Well, I'll, I'll figure all that out. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Chapter 7 is done. And we're nearly done with this game. So next up will be Chapter 8. Um... Well, next up will be pre-chapter 8, and then it'll be chapter 8, but I don't know how, how much of a pre-chapter 8 it'll be. But we'll see. So, yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, I will see you next time.